but let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. And don't don't fucking say anything about oh you're or this or say this or that. Just fucking shut up. Listen. Use your ears. Listen to me. Lance Archer. All this build up, and he loses. Buried. I don't care anymore. Or, and if anyone says any different, they're a fucking mark. They're a fucking mark. Cody shouldn't be winning that match. Oh, speaking of Rhodes brothers, who shouldn't be winning matches, why the fuck did Sean Spears lose to Dustin Rhodes? I'm sorry, did I miss something? Oh, um, I, I guess we gotta put over that fresh new talent, Dustin Rhodes. He's only been in the business over 20 years. And I know, yeah, Sean isn't exactly a young guy. But he should be winning this. He should have won that match. What? What does... What does Dustin get from winning that match? Absolutely nothing. And before you say, he technically, yes, is Sean wouldn't have gotten anything out either, but it would have made more sense. You could build Sean. Did they just forget that they were kind of like building him? Before this whole pandemic thing, they were having that, um... Thing on Twitter looking for a tag team partner for him. Now you've buried him and no one should care about him ever again. And then Nyla Rose. The AEW women's division fucking sucks. It's so stupid because right now, between AEW and WWE, you have four dead women's divisions. Four. Raw is dead now that Becky is not. I love Asuka, but I don't care to see Asuka versus, more than likely, Nia Jax. Ugh. Smackdown. Ugh. Who cares? NXT will be revived until Charlotte loses the NXT Women's Championship, which probably won't be until 2025. And AEW's has been terrible since day one. Don't at me. It has. If you are... If you're, if you're sitting there saying, oh, don't Hey on AEW, this is the, the no. Listen, if you are truly an AEW fan, and I'm, I'm near, I'm near, I'm, I'm like several other people. I'm like, let's. Why does this have to be a competition? Hmm. 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 But we're doing things well. But we're doing things shit. Hit. Hit. And then you have people saying, fuck it, as if AEW who, who, who versus NXT was WWE's idea. Which, for the record, it wasn't. WWE already had NXT on Wednesday night. Okay? It was already on Wednesday night. It's been on Wednesday night for years. AEW chose to go to Wednesday night. Because they were promoting as if, at first, it sounded like they were going to be on Tuesday night, which no one would have had any objection to, but they chose to go on to Wednesday night, and now everyone thinks there's a war, and some people somehow think it NXT's doing. I'm not trying to sound biased, that makes, but that makes no fucking sense. That makes no 
fucking sense. NXT was already on Wednesday. It was already on Wednesday. So how can you say it's a... <laughs> it was AEW who started this. Yes. Not the point. Long championship reigns. What are they? Oh, wait. They're what Chris Jericho had. Oh. Oh, but Nyla Rose, she's not Chris Jericho. Let's not have her have a title reign that means anything. Let's have her lose the title in what? Her second title defense? You know, I know Cody smashed that uh, throne. I didn't know so Triple H's shovel was there and he took it out. And he's um, fucking burying everybody. So he buries Lance Archer. They're booking Harry fucking and Sean Spears and Nyla Rose. Well, those three guys, those two guys and girl, they now mean Jack fucking squat. Sean Spears may as well retire because he's he's never going to accomplish anything in AEW. And if he does, I'll be the only one saying, didn't he lose to fucking Dustin Rhodes? And don't get me wrong, I love Dustin Rhodes slash Gold Dust, but he shouldn't have won that match. He shouldn't have won it. It makes no sense. See, and this is going to kind of make me sound like a hypocrite, but I have no problem with John Moxley beating hmm, Brody Lee. No one cares about the Dark Order anyway. At first, people didn't know who the fuck they were. Or then, they were shit. They were kind of interested when Brody Lee showed up. Then he started doing a Vincent Mann gimmick. He says it's not a Vince McMahon gimmick, but it clearly is. Is and no one cares again. No one should be upset he lost. If you are, grow up. Grow up. But Lance Archer was being built up so big, and he lost. He lost. What now? What? What now? What now for him? Nothing. Nothing. You can't. What, are you going to have him chase? He's the heel. The heel don't chase. What, are you going to have him challenge for the world title? That won't make any sense. What, you, you lose to Cody and you get a world title match? Can I volunteer to fight? Hey, Cody, can I get a world title match? Is that how it works? Absolute. It's an absolute joke. It's an absolute pissing joke. Three people were buried last night. So much so, I don't know if they can recover. Maybe Nyla can. Sean Spears definitely can't. Lance Archer is, or certainly can't. You can't convince me otherwise. So, what, what did we learn? It's, it, it was a good night to have the surname Rhodes. I imagine if there's a heaven, Dusty Rhodes is probably up there right now going like, What are you doing? What are you doing? That's terrible booking. Even he would, I guarantee fucking see it, even he would be like that. Because this makes no sense. So three careers ruined, and Cody just couldn't let it. someone else get over. He had to have the floor to himself. And before you say, yes, I realize that the Elite will hold championships in the 
AEW. Hell, right now, M. Page and Kenny Omega are the tag team champions. And I have no problem with that, because they weren't the first champions. That's the problem here. He's the first champion. He shouldn't have been the first champion. It makes him look like an egomaniac. It makes him look like he is only in it for himself. And unless he builds a fucking time machine and goes back and corrects his mistake, make nothing can change that. 